Hi, this is Dave Kaufman with Voices in Harmony. This is a demonstration on how to remove synchronization errors using Audacity. Synchronization errors are the delay in the recording that uh, you are putting down in comparison with the recording that the system is playing as you're trying to make a qualification uh, audio. First thing you want to do is to get your system into a known state of uh, usage. So what I'm saying to do is to close all programs that are not necessary to make your recording. So what I'm doing here is closing my web browser, I'm closing my email, um, and I'm just going down the line and making sure that I don't have any open programs so that way I will have a reliable usage or a reliable CPU usage on my computer. Okay, so this is being done on a Mac and uh, the, the procedures for the Mac and Windows are very similar. The next thing I'm going to do is open Audacity. Okay, and now I'm going to load a file and give a demonstration of what a synchronization issue sounds like. So I'm going to open, and then I'm going to go to music, and I'm going to go. I'm using the search bar to look for a song, and this is uh, "Can't Buy Me Love," and I'm opening it. So now uh, for this demonstration, it's got the two parts. And what I want to do is just the bass only section so that I can record to that. And so you can clearly hear what a synchronization error is. So what I'm doing is here, I'm going to split the stereo track. So I just went to this little pull down. And now what I have is the stereo is split. Okay. And now what I can do is I can mute on, uh, I happen to know that the first, the the left track is the bass only, and then the right track are the three other parts. So I'm going to mute the other three parts. Now I'm going to make a sample recording. Buy me love, buy me love, love, oh. Buy you a diamond ring, my friend. Okay, that's enough for the demonstration. So what I'm going to do is play it back so we can hear what a synchronization issue looks like, sounds like. Even the pitch is off. Okay, enough of that. So now here's how we're going to eliminate that. First thing I'm going to do is remove all of these recordings. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is to go to where the setting is to fix this. So here I'm on a Mac. It's you go to Audacity and then you go to Preferences. And then you look for Recording. Okay. And then you look for Latency Correction. Now, for this demonstration, I put a really big number in there so that it would be very clear of what the problem is. Okay, you zero this out. Okay, uh, you can leave the negative sign there. And now I'm going to click OK. Now, what I want to do is to create something where I can very, very accurately measure the latency. So they have a tool here, it's called Generate Click Track. And you can leave all of the settings here alone and just click OK. Now what it did is it, it created this track up here. The next thing I want to do is stay silent and record the click track. OK, so I'm just going to make sure I'm rewound to the start. And now I'm going to stay silent and record it. OK, that's enough. So uh, you'll notice that this, uh, the recording is very, very low. So what I want to do is I want to um, amplify that so it's very easy to make a, uh, the measurement to fix this. So what I did is I selected just the lower track. 
and I went to effect and you could use amplify, but I just like to use this uh, term called normalize, which is going to maximize the uh, audio automatically without having to play around with knowing what amount to, uh, to amplify. So that's called normalize. Okay. So uh, actually you'll see that there's um, uh, the recording has uh, a lot of uh, space, a lot of noise in between the clicks, but the clicks are really, really easy to see. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the magnification tool over here. And uh, if you want, you could, you could go view and I want to zoom in. Okay. So I clicked on the magnification tool and now if I, each time I click, it will zoom in. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewind and I, I usually like to avoid the first uh, no, click. I like to, uh, to make the measurement with the second click. So what you do is you use the selection tool. That's this little eye bar thing here. And you go to the very, very start. Actually, I'm going to uh, zoom in just a little bit more. And you go to the very start of the, of the uh, upper click. And then you go to what looks like the very, very start of the recorded click. Okay. And that is the latency. That's the delay between the two. And now there's this number at the bottom here and it says length that says 054 okay so what I'm gonna do is gonna go to audacity I'm gonna go to preferences and I'm gonna put in minus 054 okay click OK now what I want to do is to measure my results and make sure that I've taken care of it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the track that I had recorded. I'm going to rewind to the beginning and I'm going to stay silent and I'm going to record the click track again. Okay, I'm going to stop it. And then what I'm going to do once again is rewind it. And then I'm going to go back to the effect and I'm going to normalize it. And what you can see is that these two, the, the, the original and the recorded, are almost right on top of each other. Even with it, with it zoomed in, you can see it, it's pretty clearly. So if I try to measure, there's, there's nothing I can measure. I'm going to play it just so you can hear that uh, it'll, it'll sound right on top of each other. You don't hear, you don't hear click, 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 or click. You know, you just hear it right on top of each other. So that's how you get rid of synchronization issues. You have to do this once and once only. You never have to do it again. Okay. And just so you could see if I was to zoom out. Uh, it almost looks like they're perfectly aligned. If you have any questions. Give me a call.